Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to show you some nice, nice updates in Revit. Okay. And this update is Revit 2024.1. As you can see from here, this is the version of Revit that I'm using. Okay. So we have 2024.1. Okay. So what I'm going to explain here, the new features or updates are for Revit you know 2024.1 now i'll not just explain these new updates but i'll also show you where you can get the update install it and be able to use it okay so make sure that you watch from start to finish and if you like what i'm doing on this channel subscribe to my channel and like my videos now what i'm going to demonstrate here i'm just going to use you know this view this detail and this detail and i i'll explain these features in revit using the two details so without wasting time let's get started in this lesson Now, before I proceed, I want to ask all of you, if you want to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure, you know, robot structure analysis professional in a course, please check the links in the description. Obviously, you are going to be interested. Now, let me just show you how you can install this update. Now, you need to have an account with Autodesk. Go to your account and you find, you know, the update there, just download and install it. If I just go to my browser here, you see that I have an account here. And once you go to your account, you are not going to see as the first page. Just log in your account and just click there within your account there and just click on product updates as you can see from here. Once you click there, this is the page that you are going to have. Now you can filter from here if you want to show the past 30 days, past three months. Okay, now since this one is the latest update, even for the past, you know, uh, 30 days or three months you are going to see your update right here and you see that we have revit 2024.1 it's just a matter of clicking on download you see that if i click there yeah i pause this one but i want to show you that once you do that you are able to have your download here automatically it will appear here and you can download but i just paused it because i've already downloaded it so i'll simply cancel it and i'm not going to download it okay so once you do that, make sure that once you download and install, make sure that you restart your Revit. And as you can see, it has started here, but I don't want to do that. I'll just, you know, pause it because I've already installed it. So install it, restart your Revit. And once you go to Revit, you are going to see 2024.1. Okay, so now let's get started with the updates that we have in Revit 2024.1. The first one is the ability for you to zoom in, you know, on the properties and also on the project browser you see that uh, before 2024.1 you are just able to expand it like that and also you know just place your cursor there and move it like that but with this version of revit which is 2024.1 you can hold your control and your wheel on your mouse and you can see that you are able to zoom in and out this is quite useful because it will be easy for you to see what you want to see from here Okay, you see that if I also go to the proper uh, project browser, I can hold my control and I'm able to, you know, to zoom in, in and out like that. I can expand it and you see that at least the text is, you know, quite big. That way it will be easy for me to see. So it's a small change, but quite useful. Okay, now let's proceed to the next update in Revit and that is concerning, you know, the balance for our river. This one is I liked so much because it will help you to be so fast. Okay, so you see that in the previous versions of Revit, if I just click on the bar there, you see that in this version of Revit, you are able to see the dimensions within, you know, the screen here, okay? Or maybe I can even go to bending detail. Let me select on the bending detail there. Let me just, you know, place it somewhere there, just like that. Now you see that if I select there, okay, you see how it's going to change here, even on this one, you see that we now have the dimensions but before I change the dimensions, you will notice that in the other versions of Revit before the 2024.1, if I click there, I'm not going to see these dimensions. What you need to do to change the length of the bars, you just need to go to the, you know, to the properties here. And it's important that you click on override hook length there and go down there and change, you know, the dimensions for the bar within here just type there and it's going to update if i want to change this one for example maybe to 1500 i can do that and click on apply or just move your cursor there you see that it's going to update okay 
Now, in this version of Revit, you don't have to go there. You know that sometimes once you are there up, you, for you to start scrolling down, you are going to spend a decent amount of time. So with this version of Revit, you just click there. If I just want to have 1,200, I can do it from here. You can see that this is quite fast and you know, it makes work easier for you as you are working in Revit. If I want to show maybe 200 there, I can do that. All right. So you can see that once I do that, even the, you know, this one is going to change. You can go to any river here and it's going to show you the dimensions. And I like this feature so much because it makes my work easier now. Instead of going there looking for these dimensions, you can st still do it within here. So this is the first feature. Now, the second feature that I want to show you, which has been implemented in Revit 2024.1. Let me just go to this one. This is the view. I have my tags here. And you can notice from here that these tags are aligned properly. In the other version of Revit, you see where the difference is. With this version of Revit, as you place, you know, your, your annotations here, your tags, the mouth river annotation, you are able to align these tags, you know, as you place your bars. And you see that, let me just first of all, maybe just delete these tags from my keyboard here so that I show you how you can make it easier, how it, this has been made easier as you, you know, place your tags. So you see that if I just go to annotate there, then go to Mount Riba, click on Mount Riba annotation. You notice that you have this option, which, which is called pick position. Now, if I use any other tag, I go to annotate, go to tag by category. I'm not going to have that option. So you are going to have that option once you go to Mount Riba annotation. So I'll go to annotate, click on Mount Riba, click there. And you see that this one is activated. Now, if I click there, deactivate it, you see that we have another option which will appear here. So I'll click on it and show you how to start with this one. So I can click on that one and you notice that if I start now, let me pick maybe, you know, horizontal, change this one to horizontal. As you can see, that is how I want my tag to be. I can click there. And if I want the first bar to be here, I can click, click again and just move it somewhere there. My bar is right there. You can see that it has been made easier instead of you trying to align it. I'll go to the next one, click there, and I just want to click two times, just like that. And you notice that once I move my, you know, my tag there, it's able to align. So as you go on and on, you are going to align your river like that. Click there, click two times, and you see that it's going to align. So this is a very, very useful feature, and this will make your work very, very easy as you continue you now detailing your river. So let me just add a number of them two times and you can see that it's going to align there. Okay. Now the whole purpose is not to detail everything because I just want to show you that you can align the river there. You can see that it's going to snap there. I can click this one. Let me place it this side. Just click two times, then move there. You see that it's going to align. Now, if I want to do maybe the vertical one again, I've changed to vertical because I want to Tag this one, I'll click two times and just place it. You can even see that above there now is going to align and it's, you know, vertical there. All right, let me just do this one. Have I done vertical? I'll click this one, click two times and click there. Okay, for some reason, it's not, you know, aligning properly, but it has aligned. I can click there, select on tag and just, you know, just try to shake it a bit. You see that you are going to have your tag there. Let me add uh, one more there. Click there. Click there. And click on that tag. Can I pick? Let me pick this one. I'll click twice. And just click there. Okay, for some reason, it's not vertical, but doesn't matter. You can select there. Click there. And just shake it a bit there. You see that it's going to align. Okay. If it doesn't align there, you can click on the tag and once you move it down again, you can see that it's going to snap. So this one is quite useful. Now, the other option, if I go to annotate, then go to Mount Riba, align there, you see that I can deactivate this one. And now I have the option to set the dimension. If I say 15 there, you see that let me align this one. I'll start with the vertical. If I just, you know, click on that one, 
you see that I can click that one now this with this one we are just going to click once and the tag is there okay I've observed that you know a lot of people struggle now with this version even in the previous version it's quite easy but this one has been you know made it has been even made easier once you start detailing you know your river so with this one I can even proceed and just click there you know just click once and you see that now i can go to modify if it's not aligned i can click there click on that one and you can see that you can even align it from the bottom now let me quickly add some of them you see that you can go to multiple there you can click there no i can do it in that manner which one do i have this one if i want to take it up there i can do that if i click this one once again if i want to take it at the bottom i can do that so now this one is very very easy as you start detailing so these are some of the tools that i wanted to show you so make sure that you install this version of revit and your workflow will be quite simple so see you in some upcoming lessons